my new Swift 5 just arrived from Cloud9. And there she is with the stock ozone speed bar. Nice chrome sister clips. So I ordered it with kind of a compromise for my usual color scheme where I like primaries. So here's a better look at the new ozone rucksack design in the sunlight. One of the it looks like it's, it went through a complete redesign, and I think it's because Ozone hired someone from Supair, probably knows a little bit more about backpack design. First thing you'll notice is they dispensed with these single center zipper. That's both good and bad. There were some advantages to that. When you have a center zipper, the cinch straps don't torque the side zippers. But that's never been a problem with my other packs. So there's three cinch straps. This is kind of a, an interesting configuration. Most other backpacks have only two. In fact, on my Nova pack, I added a third one. Notice the way these are angled a bit, including this top one, which is designed to cinch the top down when it's not super full. On the interior, this is a pretty nice feature to hold the wing in place next to your back. Typically you put the wing next to your back and uh, the harness goes on top. That way it's more comfortable. So these are used to hold the wing in place. A nice long strap so you could have a huge wing or maybe you could put something else in there. This is kind of an interesting configuration. They have a side pocket well, first there's external side pockets, which are very nice for holding water or other things. And it looks like there's only one, only one external side pocket. Why there wouldn't be two, I'm not sure. There's a zippered side pocket. It's up kind of high. It's got an interior separator compartment to hold things. It's not really big enough for a helmet. Maybe it would be, so I guess that's just the stash gear. Why there's not one on both sides is a little bit puzzling, but there's not. It only exists on one side. There's easy carry handles somewhat padded, nice and sturdy on both sides, and a new designed carry handle on the top. Small upper pocket for keys, whatnot. There's a little key retention strap there, and of course the identifier. Much more curvy on the shoulder straps and they've got these adjustments for cinching which are nice so you can adjust how close it sits to the back of your head or farther down this is a big improvement the old ozoned chest straps were way too short they were painfully tight I'm not sure what they were thinking so that's a much nicer feature it still has the little elastic the waist strap has also been redesigned. There's now a phone pocket. Looks like it would be big enough to hold most phones. Maybe not my Note 9. Side cinch straps. More padding. One thing I don't like, a one inch webbing. That's too narrow. That's gonna cut into your gut. I really like the one on my Nova Pure Black. It's a two incher way more comfortable. 
Ooh, first time had the Swift 5 out at a launch. Maybe actually be able to give it a test flight. I was speculating as to what these things were. The manual says that they add these so that when you're on bar, there's less flutter. Seems like a good idea. Doesn't add a lot of weight. Won't block airflow into the wing. Important, don't drag your wing on the ground. Ozone. Swift 5, medium large. Flying weight 85 kilograms to 105 kilograms. Projected surface area 22.3 square meters. 3.9 kilograms. They also have new brake line attach points. Promise to be a little bit sturdier. Brake lines are still too skinny, as is most of the, the lines are too skinny. I wish they had handles on the sea risers. I don't know why those aren't standard on high B's. Ozone, are you listening? Give us handles. Ah yes, the stupid swift links, that thing snags on lines, I can't wait to get rid of those, either with the Delta 3 Malians or the Rush 5 Malians, as soon as I can order a set. Ah good, the Stabilo line is a slightly different color, I like that. Making sure the A's are on top. Finally, after weeks of waiting, we get some decent conditions in the Franklins. Not perfect, it's too south, and it's a bit too variable, and it's light. But, should be a good chance for me to try my brand new Swift 5. Hopefully we'll not end up in the bushes. I hope I remember how to launch. seem to be good. I hate it when it's south. Glad I got a little bit of lift because this thing doesn't glide as good as the Alpina.
conditions Not to the top, we walked up to I walked up to Agave Loop Trail. Oh, I, I like your Christmas uh, light necklace. Does it light up your Christmas lights? <laughs> Barely see it in the day. Yeah, this wasn't really good conditions, but this is a brand new wing, so I've been dying to try it. So it's it's really funky conditions. The it's too cross, and but you know it's flying. Leonardo da Vinci would take it. Thank you. Well, there you have it. First flight on my Swift 5. And yes, it flies. It works. It's pretty good. Uh, overall impressions, not as glidey as the Alpina. Much easier to handle on takeoff. Not as much of a problem with the tips freaking out and uh, getting snagged up. Seems like it's easier to control with A's and C's. No need to go to the brakes. Uh, it's nice and lifty. Didn't seem to pull too hard. Of course, the winds weren't that strong today. And uh, it seems stable in the mild turbulence that I hit. Uh, it doesn't bite as well as the Alpina does. It tends to hang back some, but any uh, wing with a higher aspect ratio will tend to bite better. So all in all, I think it's gonna be a good wing. Got high hopes for it. It'll be a good addition to my quiver for days like punchy high pressure spring mountain thermals uh, hike and fly to new launches where there might be more danger of snags just generally want a easier to handle wing in a new condition Alpina will still be good for uh, not as much hike and fly unless to an established site uh, for sure SoCal the Alpina will still rule because those launches are all easy and the air in California tends to be at least in SoCal tends to be less punchy than the air here in the desert southwest and winter ridge soaring things like that the alpino will still be good so it'll be a fun decision each time i go out which wing to bring hmm which wing